My mother demanded uh, from police uh, for me to have a spine broken. She demanded from the police for me to have a spine broken. And uh, that's a good question, why? I don't think I have to explain this. Um, however, one of the reasons why my mother wanted for me to have a spine broken and she demanded from police, insisted Yanko police uh, for me to have a spine broken was rehabilitation of my father, a future rehabilitation of my father. That's why I stated that my mom is going to go to the jail from here. She's gone. She, they completely evaluated the weight of my father during MK Ultra, and it equal to this gas bomb, 10 kilos, something like this. They told me when you're going to lift him on his feet, if you're going to try to rehabilitate him, between 10 and 15 kilos is what Yanko measured. They measured somehow during MK Ultra. Um, My mother told me, I tried myself, uh, don't even try, I tried, and it was, you will see, and it was, you have a broken spine during MK Ultra, and so they continuously rehearse breaking my spine, basically causing the injury, they, they repeatedly inflicted injury on the spine, you know, one day I'm going to go and I'm going to tell you how they had me sit in that room uh, inside of the kitchen uh, how the pain was in unbearable for me in a certain sitting positions also in the living room area um, the type of um, chairs they used and even substitutions for the tables in every room including the room that is on the other side, in the opposite side of this room, which is on the ground floor. Um, they, they loaded me with the backpacks on a regular basis, I explained about that, to intensify the injury. And injuries were repeatedly inflicted also in the Poland. They used Polish government to cover up for the, for the domestic Slovenian crime. Um, my mother did not want my father to be rehabilitated back on his feet under any circumstances and only agreed, uh, as far as my father being alive, she conditioned police, literally, she placed a conditions to the police on how is it going to be. This is a queen. We have a queen here inside of this house. Um, only if he is willing to stay out of the house in uh, the back of the home for elderly people, which was presented to me by the Novo Mesto police, by the Slovenian police, all the workers at home for elderly will go to the lie detector. They will they will confess themselves about this crime. They all know, they all knew about it. They had my father in the room in the back of the uh, home for elderly. Uh, they had uh, technicians, male technicians, uh, for whom Slovenian government insisted me that if everything is okay, in, if everything goes fine, my father will even drive with the car with me to Ljubljana on a trial and but only with a technician with a medical technician who would be present there would be slovenian state that would dedicate one uh, to the father so that he could drive with me to ljubljana on a trial and back because <laughs> i think it was alish hoys or it was some other minister also that I'm going to look which people claim this, came up with this type of brazen, really primitive and brazen Oh, motherfuckers, you're going to pay for this stuff. 
I don't even know how to explain to you what the fuck I would do with you. As soon as this gets done, as soon as you are free of your of your state credentials, of your police badges, you will see what what what, you, what the process you will go through. As soon as that stuff is done, then you will see for what the life costs. Um, after the trial, however, maybe uh, a technician who drove with me and with the father to Ljubljana in a courtroom on a trial, uh, maybe I would even get to keep one. That is if I would hire one, but that I would be wealthy and this and that and blah, 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 blah. We have a queen at home, and this queen is due to go to the jail to get some hundred prisons, lifetime prison sentences. She needs to get the karma, she needs to get the payback for this stuff. She demanded from police for me to have a spine broken. She conditioned police. They, with the police, she, my mother is an architect of genocide against me but also, believe it or not, against father whom she did not want to have rehabilitated. In other words, ever back inside of this house. Those are her conditions with the police directors she negotiated with the Ministry of Interior, with the Slovenian and so on. So, you know, lady, your days are fucking numbered. The MK Ultra trial, the MK Ultra trial, trial of my case, commenced in uh, Slovenia sometimes in uh, definitely 2008. I am afraid it started earlier. I'm afraid it started in 2006. We are talking about Ljubljana city where I was uh, repeatedly delivered. Uh, there was some court I was delivered to and the judge who was explaining me about the MK Ultra trial and the judge presented me, this is a Slovenian judge presented himself as somebody on my side However, this judge and other judges acted um, with a total disdain, with a total disregard for my life. Um, the rules that Slovenian Supreme Court set for extermination procedure against me clearly indicated that next to MKUltra trial, extermination procedure has also a free hands to go on against me. Now, unless I would prove the existence of this case and or I would uh, comply obviously with the Slovenian politicians such as Milan Kuchan, I did not even understood exactly how this case would come to an end because they did not explain, they did not give any kind of explanations about it. Um, this trials in Ljubljana city would reappear here and there. Um, maybe I would be taken on a trial uh, maybe like a once per year, uh, maybe twice per year. It all depended on the psychiatric hospital of Ljubljana Poly. That's way before, long before I was hospitalized at the psychiatric hospital of Ljubljana Poly, where the judges would start to harass, intimidate also with the issues that, like in post 2010, we're no longer here to assist you. This actually started in 2000 and maybe even in 2003. This was a pure harassment. 
torture intimidation procedure. In 2010, they figure out that these judges during MK Ultra procedures that we're no longer inside of the courtroom to assist me. We're no longer at a trial for my benefit, but because I would be locked up because I committed crime and so on. Um, this trials in Ljubljana, however, then intensified past 2017, 2016. This trials intensified. I was on a regular basis delivered to Ljubljana. Uh, in, in 2018, 2019, when they became totally evident that nobody possibly can refute this case anymore. The, the most disgusting case, uh, the type of case that police refuse to assist, the type of extermination procedure that made me leave my home and run for life abroad to other countries on several occasions were filing for political asylum, uh, like for instance, obtaining proofs about MK Ultra, even in Poland, which language I did not spoke. Basically, homeless on streets of Poland, searching for the proofs of MK Ultra. These are all the proofs. Many, many, many of them are not even listed here, and they fit into the same category of the videos, proofs that you see right here. When in 2018, 2019, they, 2018, I think it was in 2018, Slovenian police completely capitulated because of the proofs I listed on the internet uh, from Poland. I don't know. Uh, it was something from Slovakia there yet. Uh, I was very, very careful still with the Slovakia. Um, 2019, they would take me to Ljubljana with the father. Uh, something they started already earlier, but in 2019, they repeated the procedure. They started this procedure in 2016, guaranteeing me also that father would not even last for too long because of the surgery performed in his stomach. That's how they talk to you. Otri, he did not have any surgery performed on his stomach uh, where they inserted him a feeding tube. That's how they conversed with me during MK Ultra. And for that matter, he would have assisting physician, actually not physician, but a nurse that would go escort us, me, with the police to Ljubljana. Then he came out, exactly as I explained at the beginning of this video, that I could even hire this nurse, whatever nurse. They have like three nurses from Home for Elderly People in Novo Mesto. And what I found the most uh, fascinating about this super crime super police crime what I found the most fascinating about extermination procedure known as MK Ultra uh, is that the judge stated me he only needs me for that everything is already completed, that everything is already in Ljubljana, that everything is already done. Um, he really needed me to just complete some details. This is the way they were doing. They were diligently working on this case. This is how they presented themselves as. Obviously, that's like a... Corruption 
of corruptions, crime of crimes. Uh, my father, beginning the 2013, no longer would be inside of the... Uh, right now he is in this side. He is in this area here. Uh, you can actually, you cannot even see this area. Uh, this is the area that goes behind these buildings. Let me see if I can do something from this side here. No. De facto, you cannot see uh, here anywhere because I cannot get anywhere here. But this is this will be behind this building here that you see right in front of you, and then he's got a view like this in a direction like that. However, in 2013, beginning 2012, to be exact. It, this shit was happening much earlier than what I anticipated. Uh, my father found himself here on this side in this uh, units here which do have a view, they, they are more private. Um, I was even told at Home for Elderly People that they would continue to, to take care of my father. I told you about the issues. They argued with me. We had the physical confrontations. These are a violent thugs, criminals that treated me like a piece of shit, like a bag. Like if I wanted to prove them something that I mean seriously, I literally would have to go and break them noses. Like you literally would have to go and smack the fuck out of them uh, you don't understand the people during MK Ultra treat you like you are shit like you don't exist like you are a pencil like you are a personal property and you are right there to listen whatever they have to say to you and comply the only thing these people understand is when they feel fists otherwise they do not understand when you completely lose it and it's a physical fight in which you can easily be killed it was situations that i grasped for air to stay alive literally that's when they understand every time you do this you only do it when it's really really bad because on each of these occasions you can actually lose your life that's MK Ultra. That's how MK Ultra works. So it didn't pay off to have arguments with the ladies and with the nurses. Due to so many other incidents inside of this home for elderly people alone that I would love to defend myself, but couldn't. This side here is where my father would be transferred to, is what I was told. If everything would go okay, if everything would go according to the plan, and that means that I would go and visit father, and we would go through all this process, and the police would go and investigate, it would be proven that I am innocent. Listen to this shit. If everything would be okay, is it what... Supreme Court obviously judges employees from home for elderly people which engaged in crime, in gang crime. This is a gang crime, you know, you understand this is a heavy gang crime. Then the father would get a room like this where he would be by himself with a key and where also I could stay with him whenever I would want and he would have a care and everything would be wonderful for us 
and as I said if I would take him out we would take him out we would have a not a physician but a nurse that would go with us uh, and we'll take care of him to make sure that he is okay whether that we would go fishing or on a trip or whatever it would be this is what went on during MK Ultra 2018 2019 2020 and this is how MK Ultra ended with the threats from the nurses from the home for elderly people nurses that it also of course could be different psychiatry so I cut in front of the police and in front of the gang crime from home for elderly people to stress you exactly about how this stuff went on they did not want me to go and rehab start to rehabilitate my father Yanko complained others complained that lifting him up making him walk that's actually so difficult that they were do doing this stuff they were breaking their backs and so on and how much money that it costs and how the hell they jump they 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 traumatized with dramatized you know traumatized is one thing but to dramatize that's completely different but that's how they did this is the stuff this is the way it went with home for the elderly people the police my father and my mama my mama guaranteed me that I will not be capable, which was not understandable to me at all. <laughs> Why the fuck would I not be capable to live the father? Why would I not be capable to do this? It didn't absolutely make any sense. I didn't absolutely plan on staying semi obese as I was. I planned on losing weight. I plan on getting back into sports and live dynamic life it was part of the plan i just didn't know that my spine was already half broken that's the stuff i did not know and what shocks the hell out of me is that my mother was actually worried about my spine and due to ability to rehabilitate my father back into his shape and concerned about his stay because coming at home and I'm gonna reiterate this stuff my mother was you know you know um, a dictator dictator how dictator acts you cannot tell dictator anything she was a dictator she was a dictator she was dictator she She murdered my father in his head. She brain killed him. I know because I recall my mom how she acted during MK Ultra. She was a violent thug. Father was up to no good, to make myself clear. But she was a violent thug. And that's a lady. That's a female. She was just as violent or maybe even exceeding violence of the police officers, investigators. She didn't want him home. If everything would go to plan, they would get rid of me. As for father, they did not have to worry about. Because for him, this was the last hour one way or another but if everything was go perfect they would also get rid of me in other words they would get rid of both talking about my niece my sister especially husband from my niece niece and her husband those are the people that craved obviously for the property from my sister's side it was not enough they wanted more they got paid out uh, disgusting attitude I had I was compelled to witness to during MK Ultra 
where my parents paid them out for half of the property they it was like a total payout and when the payout was done the husband from my niece still got into my face that's a media media weber this individual here and he stated to me well this is that for now but if you don't make it through it's also going to be the other part that will be ours that's the mk ultra that's exactly how it worked so all through judiciary slovenian system all through slovenian police all through psychiatry all through home for elderly people and in the midst of all this stuff by myself that's i myself who went on but not according to their plan the way they believe that they're going to install even serbian chetniks that are going to testify that they the slovenian police wanted to install serbian chetniks to testify for me is the most credible is the last is the most decisive witnesses well, it's basically the people who started all the people who enforce this stuff but it doesn't work like this here